As you gaze into the vastness of space and witness the twinkling dance of billions of stars, each one seems to raise a silent question that has plagued humanity for generations. Are we alone in the cosmos? Now, a groundbreaking instrument has brought us closer than ever to unraveling that cosmic mystery. The Cassini spacecraft, a marvel of modern engineering and human curiosity, was launched in 1997 on a daring mission to explore Saturn and its many enigmatic moons. But what it found during its journey was far beyond anyone's expectations, something that, to this day, challenges the very foundation of what we thought we knew about the solar system. After traveling for nearly seven years through the cold vacuum of space, Cassini entered Saturn's orbit in 2004, beginning what was expected to be a four-year mission. Instead, it turned into a 13-year voyage, revealing a treasure trove of data about the gas giant and its surroundings. As it looped around Saturn in complex orbits, photographing the ringed planet in stunning detail and plunging between its rings, Cassini sent back images and information that astonished scientists. But amidst these public discoveries was a series of photographs and measurements that were not immediately released to the public, files that were withheld, not because they were unimportant, but because they were too extraordinary, too disruptive, and too mysterious to share without scrutiny. One such image, later uncovered in the vast archive of NASA data, sparked intense debate within the scientific community. This photo, unlike the thousands of others showing Saturn's rings, clouds, and moons, seemed to capture something artificial. Floating just above the outer edge of Saturn's B ring, a sharply outlined structure appeared to reflect sunlight in a manner inconsistent with ice or rock. Its geometric shape was unlike anything formed naturally, symmetrical, with a defined outline that bore an eerie resemblance to a crafted object. Some argued it could be a shadow or a processing artifact, but further analysis revealed something even more peculiar. The object's position changed between frames, suggesting movement. And not just movement, but a deliberate path that defied the usual orbital patterns observed in that region. Cassini's instruments weren't limited to visual images. It also carried powerful spectrometers, capable of analyzing the chemical composition of objects and environments it encountered. When these sensors were directed at the region where the anomaly was spotted, the results were perplexing. Instead of the expected signatures of frozen water, dust, or simple gases, the spectral data showed traces of highly organized molecular structures, compounds not commonly found in space. While these could theoretically be explained by unusual natural processes, their organization and symmetry suggested something more, something engineered. Saturn, majestic and intimidating, has always captivated human imagination. From ancient civilizations that revered it as a god, to modern astronomers who used it as a laboratory for understanding planetary systems, Saturn holds a special place in our exploration of the universe. But what if the planet also guards a secret? What if, hidden within its sprawling rings or behind the thick clouds of its atmosphere, lies evidence of an intelligence not of this Earth? As Cassini continued its mission, more anomalies surfaced. Within the ice-covered moon Enceladus, geysers of water were found erupting into space, carrying with them traces of organic compounds. Scientists rejoiced at the possibility of microbial life, but they also noticed that the plumes seemed to emerge in rhythmic patterns as if controlled by a mechanism rather than chaotic tectonics. Instruments picked up strange electromagnetic pulses coinciding with these eruptions, almost like coded signals. The oddities didn't end there. In the dark gaps between Saturn's rings, known as divisions, Cassini detected unusual gravitational fluctuations, as if large masses were briefly present but invisible to both optical and infrared sensors. These gravitational blips were consistent, repeating in intervals that didn't match the orbits of known moons or debris. Some researchers suggested these might be cloaked objects or structures hidden within the rings, using advanced technology to remain unseen. This might sound like science fiction, but the data pointed to something beyond the reach of current human understanding. In its final years, the mission team prepared Cassini for its so-called grand finale, a daring plunge between Saturn and its innermost rings, a region no spacecraft had ever traversed. Here, the anomalies became even more pronounced. As Cassini dove through the ring gap, its magnetometer detected strong magnetic waves unlike any previously recorded. 
These waves weren't random, they carried harmonic signatures, repeating tones that echoed like mathematical frequencies. The signal, when translated into sound, produced a haunting rhythm that resembled a structured communication pattern, like a distant beacon pulsing through the void. The final moments of Cassini's life were filled with urgency and awe. As it descended into Saturn's atmosphere, its instruments continued to transmit until the crushing pressure destroyed its circuits. In those last transmissions, another bizarre pattern emerged. A sudden shift in radio frequencies, accompanied by a burst of unknown particles. These particles had mass, yet they behaved unlike any known material, passing through Cassini's detectors without triggering typical reactions. Some described them as phantom particles, potentially a new form of matter not yet catalogued by physics. Why were these final transmissions so different? Had Cassini seen something it wasn't supposed to? Did it pass through a barrier, perhaps artificial, that marked a boundary around a hidden structure or even an underground base within Saturn? One interpretation, proposed by fringe scientists and even a few credentialed ones, is that Saturn may harbor a deep space facility, either ancient and abandoned or still active in monitoring activity in the solar system. This would explain the repeated magnetic bursts, gravitational anomalies, and structured signals, all signs of intelligent design. These theories found renewed energy when whistleblowers from various space agencies hinted at classified findings about Saturn and its moons. One alleged insider claimed that Cassini was never simply a scientific mission. It was a reconnaissance probe sent to investigate known artificial anomalies first spotted by earlier missions like Voyager and Pioneer. These claims, while lacking official confirmation, drew attention because they aligned with Cassini's most mysterious findings. Adding to the intrigue was an obscure 1980s NASA document that resurfaced, which discussed the possibility of non-terrestrial artifacts within the ring system of Saturn. Though the language was speculative, it mentioned the need for long-duration orbital surveillance and gravitational mapping to detect geometric intrusions. When Cassini's data is viewed through this lens, the mission seems less like a peaceful voyage of discovery and more like a carefully orchestrated search for signs of advanced extraterrestrial presence. One of the most haunting discoveries was not from a sensor, but from an image. In a photo taken near the edge of Saturn's ring, a shadow stretches across the ring plane, long, rectangular, and sharply defined. It doesn't match any known object. It appears and disappears in only one frame, as if peeking into view just long enough to be seen, then vanishing. Analysts ran every test they could think of, lens distortion, cosmic ray interference, imaging glitch. None could explain the object's clean outline and unnatural symmetry. Some theorists suggest that this object, and others like it, are spacecraft, possibly massive ones, operating within the rains. Others believe they are dormant stations, watching Earth and other inner planets. Still others argue that these anomalies might not be objects at all, but windows, portals, between dimensions or parts of space-time that we are only beginning to understand. The geometry seen in the Cassini images echoes designs found in theoretical physics and ancient symbolism alike, suggesting a connection between math, consciousness, and cosmic engineering. With Cassini's demise, the data it gathered became even more valuable. Hidden within terabytes of raw images and sensor logs are fragments of a story that challenges our place in the universe. As researchers continue to analyze the remaining files, new anomalies emerge, patterns in radiation, chemical distributions, and gravitational mappings that defy simple explanation. And while mainstream science remains cautious, a growing number of voices within the community are daring to ask the forbidden question. Did Cassini glimpse something extraterrestrial? Something ancient? Something watching? If the answer is yes, then the implications are enormous. It means we are not alone, and perhaps never have been. It means that Saturn, a planet we thought we understood, is a guardian of secrets beyond imagination. It means that space is not empty, but filled with watchers, travelers, or architects far older and more advanced than we are. And it means that the Cassini mission, rather than marking an end, was the beginning of a new chapter in humanity's exploration of the cosmos. Cassini's legacy will not just be the stunning images or the insights into Saturn's weather and magnetic fields. 
Its true legacy may lie in the mysteries it left behind. Whispers of structures that shouldn't exist, signals that defy randomness, and shadows that move against logic. These remnants challenge our definitions of science, of life, and of what lies beyond the stars. At SPACELOOP, we believe it's our duty to question, to wonder, and to explore every clue the universe offers us. The secrets of Saturn are not behind us. They're ahead of us, waiting to be unveiled by the next mission, the next telescope, or the next brave explorer who dares to look closer. Because when you truly gaze into the cosmos, it gazes back, and sometimes, just sometimes, it leaves a trace.